So if the devil is like a figment of our reality, are angels figments of our reality Say again? in the same way? So what else? The so devil and what else? Angels. Like people see angels and they say, I've got an angel here protecting me. It's an interesting thing because as we've been talking to you here today about what you are realizing, what you are realizing, some could say everything that you are realizing at some point along the way is a figment of your imagination because you have to vibrate it into being before you can realize it. Do any of you see energy? Can you see energy around Esther? Or is it a figment of your imagination? Since everyone doesn't see it and some of you do, then you must be disturbed in some way. <laughs> but it really has to do with where your frequency is tuned, you see. So we wouldn't spend too much time trying to figure out what anybody else is getting. But we put our attention upon who we really are, how we want to feel, and we would just continually, all day, every day, do our best to tune our frequency upward to better and better and better feeling conversations. So, what is a figment of someone's imagination? Well, a well, figment of their reality is probably a better... The thing that's interesting about this, and the reason that we're not giving you a forthright answer in the way you think you want it to be, is because prepare yourselves, but all of your reality is a figment of your imagination. You are translating vibration into beingness. What you see with your eyes is a translation of vibration. What you hear with your ears is too. And so you've come as a mass consciousness, as humans who cluster together, you've come to accept reality as that which most people agree upon. But we want you to understand that the reality that you think you're agreeing upon has so many variables, you see. And that if you will just practice for a little while finding a vibration that feels good and watch the reality that begins to actualize around you. So the question is, well, if I have this reality that's actualizing around me, won't those other people who are in my world, won't they be able to see it? So it won't just be a figment of my imagination. My lover will be tangible and others will see that lover or my money will be obvious and the bank will acknowledge that it is real. And we say, Everything that becomes a reality was a vibrational version first, you see. And so if you'll give your attention pre-manifestation to how it feels while you're conjuring it, then you'll have more control of the manifestations as they come. But more important, much, 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 much more important, you'll feel such joy in the evolution of your desires. A figment of my imagination. We just focus on good figments. Just focus upon what we are wanting because law of attraction will bring you evidence of everything that you believe. Yeah, interesting. Law of attraction will bring you evidence of everything that you believe. And what's a belief anyway? A belief is just a thought that you keep thinking, a belief is just a steady, chronic transmission. So if you've got some belief because someone told you and you trusted them, so you offer that transmission, then it's going to actualize around you and you're going to say, See, it's not a figment of my imagination, it's reality. Esther argued with us in the early days of receiving us. She said, Abraham, but it's true. This thing that I'm talking to you about is true. And we say, all you're saying is that someone focused upon it until it actualized in their experience and became a reality. But we wouldn't use the fact that someone else has actualized something into their reality as the basis of it now being a good thing for us to give our attention to. We would make our attention be upon how it feels when we are giving it our attention. In other words, all things are true. Everything is true. Everything is true because someone has focused upon it and made it their truth, you see. So if we were standing in your physical shoes, our work would be, we would see ourselves as wanting to sift through what we are approaching and identify, is this something that I want also to make my truth? And if it is, we would give it our undivided attention. If not, we would give something else our attention instead. Because whatever you give your attention to, in time, will actualize. 